So Joe Burrow has finally responded to all the trash talk back and forth, which you guys do not know. It all started because they asked Joe Burrow who was the best quarterback in the NFL, and he said it was Patrick Mahomes because, you know, he said until someone has a better season than Patrick Mahomes, he's the best quarterback. Jamar Chase comes out and says, Pat who? Travis Kelsey gets very upset and says, don't disrespect my quarterback. Patrick Mahomes posted a picture of two rings saying, that's who. Well, finally, our quarterback, our commander-in-chief responded, and he did it in the best way possible by putting an end to it. The end to the trash talk, the end to the back and forth. He's not giving any fuel to this fire. He said the best thing about it is it's all settled on the field. So we'll see them in December, he said. Perfect icing on the cake. The nail in the coffin. No more. No more unnecessary fuel and back and forth. Nah. This is going to be decided in December and that's it. Done. I love it. Short, simple, to the point. Um, then, of course, it says right here in this article, the Bengals play Arrowhead in uh, on New Year's Eve, which, again, I think is the worst timing for this game because New Year's Eve, people are traveling. They're going to watch the ball drop. They're not really trying to watch football. But it is what it is. They could have done this game, I feel like, a tad bit earlier, and it would have been more of a huge thing, but it is what it is at the end of the day. Uh, the article continues to read and says they are 3-1 and one against the Chiefs in the past two seasons, splitting the past two AFC Championship games, but the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. The Bengals lost to the Rams in their Super Bowl appearance. Here's what Burrow had to say. Keep doing exactly what we're doing, Burrow said. I think we put a great plan together the last couple of years. Now, we just have to finish it off. We have especially the essentially the same team with, you know, a couple lost pieces. But we also added a couple pieces that I think will help us. So just continue to grind every day and get better and better. It sounds cliche, but that's really how you do it. You can't focus too much on the future. You just got to focus on the perfecting every day and perfecting your craft every day. Whatever you're working on just gives Give it your all, and you know, the rest usually takes care of itself. And in all honesty, he is correct. We did lose some pieces this offseason. Jesse Bates and Mon Bell and Samaj P. Ryan Hayden Hurst. And all four of those guys, yes, while we did replace them, they're going to be missed. Let's be honest at the end of the day. But we can't focus on, you know, like, for example, even this season. We can't focus on the playoffs until we play the regular season. We can't focus on week two until we play week one. We can't focus on, you know, it's one game at a time. The game you focus on is the next game on your schedule. You're not worried about, like, for example, right now, we're not worried about the Chiefs. We're worried about the Browns. Then we're worried about the Ravens. Then we're worried about the Rams, right? We're not worried about, you know, 16 games down the line. So, at the end of the day, he is correct. You know, you need to focus on what's in front of you at this moment in time. Everything will fall, every piece of the puzzle will fall together as long as, you know, you have your mind set in the correct place and your focus moving forward. So, you know, this, the past is the past and the future is the future. That's the best way to look at it. Yeah, we lost the Super Bowl, but guess what? We'll make it back there. We'll win it this time, right? So, last year we lost in the championship. This year we'll get the championship. We'll win it this time. It just... Keep moving forward and keeping that philosophy of, you know, always improving yourself and getting better. Even if it's a small little amount, always improving yourself. So, guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.